without heat tonight and they're fuming. They say they're trying to escape the cold, but instead they're freezing inside their own homes. Several viewers have reached out to us about a particular property. Now 7 Action News reporter Andrea Isom is taking action. None of that works. I get but I want them to come fix the situation. Shirley, Aisha and Fred are neighbors living in close quarters in this Pontiac public housing condominium complex. But this trio has much more in common than merely living in North Hill Farms. My heat don't work. My heat don't work. It get cold like we outside cold. I boil water and I use space heaters to keep us warm. I'm warming up with, with my oven. This is dangerous. This is unacceptable. You shouldn't have to use this to heat your home. I know. Period. Well, perhaps this is the problem. Take a good long look at the boiler, my friends. It says it needs service. And I have a three month old baby. My daughters have sickle cell, so if they get sick, then I have to rush them to the hospital because it's so cold and they get their bones start aching and they start oh getting sick. Oh my gosh. Guess I'm de I can deal with it. Cause but you shouldn't have to deal with it. Yeah. You're right. So we went to the leasing office. Now we're told the doors are usually open during business hours, but it seems somebody must have gotten notice that we were nosing around trying to get answers about this no heat nonsense that some residents say has been going on for about a month. And sadly, we experienced more of the same nonsense. I see people in there. So can you guys open the door? Clearly there's people in there laughing when this is no laughing matter. Why does everybody think this is so funny? Nothing about this is funny. Like not, like zero things about this are funny. Unbelievable. So I go to the back. Trying to do the right thing here. As should they. Next, I call the real estate agency associated with the property called American Community Developers. There are several tenants that do not have heat. I told them I have an hour deadline. They say they'll get on it right away, so we wait. Oh, and in record time, I received a reply from the spokesperson for the ownership. I'm told the company is going to investigate to see if there are any heat calls they were not aware of and to make sure the management company is following the appropriate procedures. They do not want anyone in a situation where there is no heat. If the issue cannot be resolved promptly, residents will be relocated. And guess who's going to make sure that happens? We are. In Pontiac, I'm Andrea Isom, 7 Action News. No laughing matter. Andrea, thank you so much.